Hello again with loves. It's Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel. And it is Christie's Beautiful Life. 30 days of sketches around 11. Today's sketch was at the beginning of the screen. It calls for four photos. So we are going to be doing these four right here. And I'm using this collection once again. Uh, I am almost done with this project, you guys. After this layout, we have... Um, two more photos to do now all that I have so I think my husband has a few of them whitewater rafting may need to pull those into it as well um, but this is where we're starting off at I'm gonna get these cut down to what looks like a, a three by three photos when I'm at those I'm gonna pull some papers try to figure some things out and you guys I have to toot my own horn because today today is February 12th and I am already working on March layout so oh, I know I kind of feel really good about that like I've been weeks behind for so long that it feels weird to be a half a month ahead so hopefully we can get a lot of this killed off because as you can see we don't have that much left to do so we have maybe three more two to three more layouts done um, depending on where we're at in the album I need to end it on a layout so um, that being said, let me go ahead and figure this out and I'll be right back. All right. So I've got kind of the layout. So the sketch had the four photos, which I went ahead and cut these down. They're all of Whitney. Um, I tried to get them in the order that he took them, but I'm not real sure. I went ahead and just matted them, um, on that piece of a six by eight cardstock, but because it's, it's larger than six, I did two. So we've got a little runoff here and a runoff there. These are the papers that I've chosen. So we're gonna go ahead and get those stuck down. And we are almost done with this project. Well, I am. So I'm definitely making a headway here this year. I do hope that everybody is having a fabulous day. It is for me currently February 15th and I'm feeling really good about the fact that I am already working on March's layouts halfway through February. I was used to being so behind that I don't know what it's like to be so far ahead. Which is really it's kind of bad too though, you guys, because when the videos go live, they're like two weeks, you know, I created them two weeks ago basically, if not more on some occasions. And you guys comment on something that I said and I'm like, man, I have no idea what I said. So then I have to either like go back and figure out what I said which who's got time to go back and rewatch a video I don't like to watch my videos so I don't watch these videos so I just try to remember in context what I was talking about also for everyone that has the ATG gun um, I am not an affiliate or anything but I buy my tape from tape jungle you guys need to check it out so I buy a case I know it sounds horrible I buy a case once a year so for your adhesive I think it's like hundred and fifty dollars I bought this case in January of 2022 so last January so 13 months ago and I still have so much left so I guess I should probably check that out because yeah and they work just fine and I don't have any problems with them but yeah just trying to pass on some savings I realized that the other day like I still have a lot like I might not even have to buy any this year that's how many I have left so 
you guys are looking for cost savings obviously adhesive is something that we must have so you know get in with a scrappy buddy and order yourself some like I said I'm not an affiliate at all I don't get anything for even saying that but I do always like to pass on you know cost savings tips and tricks because let's be honest scrapbooking is pretty expensive hobby I always tell everybody that when they're like oh I'd love to do that and I'm like okay it's really expensive because you want all the things but you don't need all the things right you just want them all right We are just going to oh, that was not enough. Trim that off. Whoa. I love the thumb holes, but it's, it's like my favorite thing. I love thumb holes in shorts. All right. So this goes this way. And these are going to go here, and I'm thinking we're going to just pop this up on some foam. And trim that out. I still have one bottle of this stuff left. Not it is a good adhesive it's just not a quick drying and in scrapbooking you really do just need quick drying right so that's why I use the ATG for a temporary cling and then permanent hold of the liquid glue. I used to call it my craptastic glue, but it's proven to be a pretty nice glue. And it was cheap on Amazon, so you're good. All right. And since I'm giving this album away as a gift, I want to make sure that everything stays. So this one's going to go right there. So now I have to go through this, whoa, this monstrosity here and pick out some things to go with the sketch. Um, the sketch has like a big, whoa, too much. There's a cluster here in the title here, so I've got to figure out what I want to do with that. So let me figure out some of that stuff, and we'll be right back. All right, so I've got this chipboard piece from the Bruce Monroe collection on there. I'm going to pop up just a few of these little bitty bits. Right underneath the title. Mm. Don't know if I like that there, but we're going to try to make it work great. Trim that piece off. So I'm just trimming them down so that they will 
slide into places. And then, because I don't really want to, you know, didn't want to waste that whole flower. Stick that guy right back in there. And that one can go right there. Basically pulled everything out of the uh, page pieces. So I left the tag in that big title. That's stuck there. I'm going a little off script from the sketch. Because I need, I need more embellishments. Put that one there, and then we're going to bring the blue one over there. Pop that in. This says on our way. layer this up right over that compass so actually let's uh let's pull that compass up a little bit pull that up a little bit Says go see do, and this says on our way. Run that over there, and then I do want the camera. But we're gonna do the same thing. When I tuck stuff, I tend to cut them in half. Uh, make sure embellishments go longer, right? And you can put them in several different spots. So fill this gap in right here a bit of that camera piece all right so i'm gonna let's see what else let's see if we can get some of these little things in here just to kind of weekend vibes only add the little sunglasses right in there Get the little arrow. So I've got way more embellishments for this collection than I am going to have paper. So I'm going to have to really think about how I'm going to do this going forward because this is going to be a collection of just paper left over. Or just uh, embellishments, not paper. is going nuts. Hear it? I apologize. All right. And we have yet to even cut this open. And I'm going to use up that yellow. Strip, right, so we are going to go ahead and dot these. awkward because they have four so that's usually you only get like a set of three three of three this is four of three and that is gonna do it for our layout today so at the beginning I showed you the sketch it's it's a beautiful beautiful sketch by Jesse and another one done for this uh, album I think that I only have So we only have one, two, 
one. We only have two photos left, so one more page. One or two, okay, because I have to get the album out because I have started to put them in an album, and I've got to see if one page will end on the back or if it's going to be two, so that will determine. So I'm so excited that this, this album and this project is almost finished, so I will check you guys later. Don't forget to do all the fun youtube -y things, like, subscribe, check out all the videos linked down below, and yeah. That's going to do it. Thank you guys so much. Bye.